New details at midday. The National Weather Service is now in Marshall County right now surveying storm damage. They'll likely be viewing damage on Mount Olive Drive in Gunnersville. Way 31's Rodney Ross spent the morning along that road. She joins us live now to show us the extent of the damage in that area. Rodney. Alyssa, I'm along Highway 431 right now. That's right near the guy, the Walmart, I'm sorry, that we told you about earlier that experienced a lot of damage and has power outages. I'm going to go ahead and take a step behind the camera so I can show you guys what's going on. There are still power outages along this road. All of those traffic lights are still out, but you can see crews are out here working to not only restore the power, but to also fix the uh, power lines, power poles that came down. I did get a chance to talk to a woman who works right across the road from where this happened, and she took some time to describe to me that moment that tornado stopped touchdown. My doors were swinging open, and they swung all the way open, and all you could see was black. Everything was pitch black. Heather Chandler was already working when that tornado came through. I had a woman come in about, I'll say, 530, and she said, you know, be weather aware. I was listening to the radio, and there's a tornado coming from Douglas in the Horton area. She told me she began to hear loud noises, and the sky got dark, and she knew it was time to get herself and her customers to safety. When the power went out, I told them, I said, I think a tornado's coming. We need to go in the bathroom. Chandler told me she and her two customers only had to wait it out a few minutes before the storm passed. And three miles down the road, people who live on Mount Olive Drive and Mount Olive Road experienced lots of damage in their neighborhoods. Got outside and the fences were all tore down, all scattered all over the neighbors. When I visited the area, I saw lots of downed trees and damaged roofs. Now, hours later, the cleanup process is well underway. Working together down there, clearing the roads. It's a lot of volunteers. Now, Way 31 has another reporter coming out to the area to continue covering the damage that has been done. Live in Gunnersville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News. All right, thanks so much.